I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the flowering dogwood. Flowering dogwood, Cornus, Florida, is a beautiful small flowering tree. This common woodland understory tree is also very popular in our suburban landscapes because it provides visual appeal in all seasons. It is in the Cornaceae family, which includes about 10 genera and 90 species of trees and shrubs, and is most abundant in the cooler regions of the northern hemisphere. There are 16 Cornus species native to the United States. Flowering dogwood is a small tree that typically grows 30 to 40 feet tall and 8 to 16 inches in diameter. It usually has a short trunk, low branches, and a rounded to flat top crown, and it kind of has a candelabra appearance. Flowering dogwood is moderately fast growing and lives to be about 80 years old, and it's an important wildlife tree. The range of flowering dogwood extends from southwestern Maine, south to northern Florida, and west to Texas, Arkansas, and central Michigan, and it's found in almost every county in Kentucky. Flowering dogwood grows best in well-drained, moist, and slightly acidic soils of the lower and mid-slopes. It does not thrive in the dry upland slopes. It is considered a soil improver because its leaf litter decomposes more rapidly than other associated species, which makes the litter minerals more readily available and the litter is an important source of calcium. It is an understory species and is classed as very tolerant of shade. Flowering dogwood is deciduous with oppositely arranged simple leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are three to five inches long, oval in shape with entire or just slightly wavy margins. The leaf venation is termed arcuate, meaning the leaf veins are shaped like a bow curving from the base of the leaf to the tip. They are green above and somewhat paler below. Fall leaf color can be showy in colors of oranges to reds to purples. This species is monoecious, meaning a tree has both male and female flowers. The male and female flowers are green to yellowish, very small, and in a tight cluster in the middle of four showy white and occasionally pink petal-like bracts. The bracts form flowers that are two to four inches across. The flowers emerge before the leaves in early spring. They are pollinated by butterflies and specialized bees. The pink and red flowering dogwoods are cultivars and commonly used in landscape plantings. The fruit of flowering dogwood is a shiny oval red droop. It's typically a quarter of an inch to half inches long and in clusters of three to five. Each droop contains a two-celled, usually two-seeded, bony stone. The fruit ripens from September to October and birds and other animals disseminate the seeds. The seeds germinate the following spring or even occasionally during the second spring after seed fall. Trees can begin seed production as early as six years of age and dogwood produces a good seed crop usually every other year. While the fruit is eaten and relished by wildlife, it is poisonous to humans. The bark is gray and smooth on young trees and as the tree grows and ages, the bark breaks into scaly blocks. The wood of flowering dogwood is one of the hardest domestic woods of the United States. The wood has excellent shock resistance. The wide sapwood, sapwood is cream to pale pinkish in color and the narrow heartwood is reddish brown. It is diffuse porous and growth rings are usually distinct due to the gradually increasing pore density in the late or summer wood. There tends to be very little heartwood and the sapwood is considered non-durable to perishable and is also susceptible to insect attack. The wood has been used for small specialty objects and turned objects, as well as small gadgets that need to withstand rough use such as mallets, pulleys, weaving shuttles, and golf club heads. Flowering dogwood is a valuable wildlife tree. All parts of the tree, the flowers, fruit, twigs, leaves, and bark are consumed by a variety of wildlife. In fact, there are more than 36 different species of birds that eat the fruit, including gray catbird and eastern bluebird, hermit thrush, and the cedar waxwing. Varieties of mammals also rely on the fruit, including skunks, chipmunks, squirrels, foxes, black bear, and white-tailed deer. 
The flowering dogwood is, host, is the host plant to the spring azure butterfly larva, and the flowers provide nectar for several specialized bees, including the fragile minor bee. White-tailed deer eat the twigs and leaves. Flowering dogwood is a favored native ornamental species that has four season appeal. Lovely flowers in the spring, attractive foliage in the summer and fall, and colorful fruit in the fall, and interesting bark and growth habit provide winter appeal. There are more than a hundred different cultivars of flowering dogwood. The national champion flowering dogwood as of 2021 is in Sampson County, North Carolina. It has a circumference of 115 inches, is 33 feet tall, with a 40-foot crown spread. The Kentucky Champion is in Barron County, and it's 83 inches in circumference, 32 feet tall, with a 44-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees, or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about flowering dogwood. Flowering dogwood is the state tree of Virginia and Missouri and the state flower of North Carolina. Native Americans use the inner bark of the root, which contains an alkaloid called cornin, as a treatment for malaria, and the bark was used to make a scarlet dye. The powderized bark and small twigs were once used as toothpaste, and a tea was made from the bark and it was used as a substitute for quinine during the Civil War. It is estimated that 90% of the dogwood cut since the late 19th century has been used to make shuttles for the textile industry. The scientific genus named Cornus is the Latin name for the dogwood, from cornu, which means horn, in reference to the hardwood. The specific epithet, Florida, is from the Latin flos, which means flower or flowering, in reference to the flowers of the tree. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the beauty of the flowering dogwood.